All right, so this is number nine, redoing Colling's graph in Microsoft Excel just for sucrose. And I've got my data right here from when we did it before. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Microsoft Excel, though any graphing program is okay, and you can even make the graph by hand if you want. And if you wanna make it by hand, uh, let me know and I'll help you out with that. But here is uh, Microsoft Excel, and I'm going to click on double click on blank workbook, and it's going to bring up a blank workbook here. And I'll just make it fit into my little window here. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this data in as uh, front, side, folate, phthalate, and palate. Foliate, valate, and palate. And then I'm going to come and enter my, cal my concentrations of 0 0.0059, uh, all the way, all of these. I have them on my page, but I'm going to go to Excel now. <coughs> so 0 0.0059, 0 0.0028. Point zero zero four six point zero zero three two point zero zero four zero but there we go so there are my five concentrations and I'm now going to make them into a graph the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to oops I covered up myself there too hello uh, now I'm going to make these in the graph so I just clicked and dragged to highlight all of my data. And then I'm gonna to go to insert. And once I go to insert, there are charts over here. And I think I'm gonna do an XY scatter plot. Let's see how this goes. Oop, it just gave them numbers. So uh, let's get out of there. Now let's do a insert. So XY scatter plots, what I've done my entire life. I think we're going to do a line plot this time. How about a line plot with lines? There we go. Yeah, that works. So now I've made my chart. And um, the to do anything in Microsoft Excel, here, let's make this a little bigger. Uh, all you need to do is go to add chart element. And you can add axes. You can see I already have both axes here. You can add titles. Uh, and let's see, what do I need? Uh, you can also double click on anything. My chart title is going to be um, Collings Threshold uh, Taste Data for Sucrose a good title tells you what it is and then my uh, x-axis I can add a chart uh, chart no chart title axis title for my primary horizontal and that's going to be um, part of tongue and on my y-axis title primary vertical it's going to be and this is a little weird because it writes up and down it's going to be um, threshold concentration, concentration in molarity. And let's see, what else do I need to make a good graph? Um, I think I need to make these a little bigger. Fonts. 12. Let's make everything a little bigger. Well, let's just make this bigger for now. 12, and that's already 12. And then, and there's your graph. That's the bare minimum for graph. Uh, if you wanna make it a little, and look, you can see that the highest concentration now, right, we've actually plotted it in concentration. The highest concentration threshold is right here. The lowest by just a little bit is for the side of the tongue. And so for me, this makes a lot more sense than the, the logarithm plot that was in the data. 
And for me, it's all about making sense of the data. Um, and this is what you're going to be asked to do for the um, citric acid data. So let's see. So uh, you're going to be asked to turn in. Let's see. Here's the sucrose graph, which we just I just demonstrated for you. Um, you're going to also need to do the citric acid graph, and you're going to need to turn it in as part of your uh, work for this assignment. So, and that is what you need to do for the graph. Let's see if there's anything else to say about it. Oh, if you want to do the graph by hand, that's fine. Let me know, and I'll send you a piece of graph paper to do it on, uh, and I can even make a video. But I think most people have access to Excel, and learning how to make a graph in Excel is a fabulous skill that goes, uh, and maybe you already know it, but it's a fabulous skill to have. And we will be making many graphs this semester of our data, uh, most of which are XY scatter plots, but there'll be some other mixed in there too. Thanks for hanging in there. Um, and uh, hopefully this is enough of a guide to do this. I think this was the most complicated part. And uh, hopefully we'll, it'll be more involving coffee, <laughs> and, but uh, now that we've got the taste part behind us.